County saw damage just before the storm arrived in Cedar Rapids. Liliana Pearson was there to check on the recovery for the county and for the schools. Houses flattened and some roads nearly impassable. Of the nearly 17,000 residents in Tama County, almost everybody is feeling some effect from the storm. There's no calm after the storm in Tama and Toledo. Trees need to be pulled off houses. Generators need to keep the lights on. Every time we have some type of major event, it's just learning from that one and getting better for the next one. The second derecho in 10 years. This exceeds anything the county could have expected. We just didn't realize how significant it was going to be. The Tama Middle School, hard hit. Superintendent Jared Smith pushing the start of school back by two weeks. It is heartbreaking when you think about the kids and what they're missing out on. Olivia Meek was at summer camp inside the middle school just hours before the storm flattened the county. Everything was just rattling and there was an earthquake. Missing the disaster there, she was home with her family when a tree fell into the home. She shut the door and the tree just fell. It was scary just knowing that everybody didn't know what to do. Mom Gail Meek counts themselves among the fortunate. We're lucky. Waiting her turn for help. She's paying it forward, delivering lunch to crews this humid August day. It's what we know is to stick together and help each other out. And no matter if you're, you know them or not, your neighbors, your friends from out of state, out of town, no matter what, you're here to help. Power lines are still down all over the county. They're hoping to have power restored by the weekend.